Hello, it's um, Monday. Oh, should I say welcome to the vlog? Hi everyone, it's April here and welcome back to another vlog. It is very early on a Monday morning. I've been up since about 7 and me and Gertie have been making stickers since about 7.30. It's now just, uh, just after 8 so I think I'm going to try and get another sticker set done. And then I need to get ready for work. And we need to swap our computers around because I've got to switch my work computer on um, so I can work. So I'll just show you what I've done now. So we made these stickers, the bird stickers, and then we made the fruity stickers. And I'm going to try and make one more sticker sheet before I have to go to work. And for these fruity stickers, I did a little process kind of video. So I'll just pop that on now with some voiceover so you can kind of see how I made them. Voice over April here. Uh, just to note, this isn't a tutorial, it's just kind of like how I wing the, these stickers right now because I haven't really got time to like sit down and figure it all out. But I am basically just bringing in all of my stickers from the Cricut software. So I like, I'm not bringing it in from the Cricut software, but I had already made them, so they're in PNG, so I'm just kind of bringing them in and they seem to work perfectly. So, and uh, just lining them up and then I'm popping it on that page over there. So I had the back and the stickers already so I'm just like making you make sure that all the, all, just make sure the stuff's correct just make sure the stuff's correct and then you pop pop the registration marks on you can fiddle around with all the settings I mean, skinny or fat or whatever whatever you want really but I did find when I was making them super skinny like sometimes it wasn't registering them very well so I just keep it default right now and then I just start uh, popping into the sticker mode here and I've already changed the color of the stickers to blue when I brought them in and then it's got this fancy line around it which the uh, silhouette cuts out and I hit that button there which makes it super simple and I didn't actually know that button was there until Amanda messaged and said look what this button does and I was like whoa didn't know that was a thing so I actually only did it for these stickers because what I found is on some of my stickers I already have like they already have a cut line around them because I made them in Photoshop or Procreate or whatever that these simplified lines were like cutting into it and it wasn't like super perfect which I didn't like and then when you're ready to send you just press send and uh, make sure that the cut lines are set up properly so I set my blue lines which are the stickers to kiss cut the red line to die cut so it cuts it out and I basically have just made these paper like cut settings for the paper that I use which is the PPD paper so that's just down there at the bottom a couple of times I have forgotten to change them which was really annoying so don't forget to change them and then you go to print so in the print settings you just kind of figure out what your printer does I still don't know what my printer does but I have just left it completely normal I used to do borderless in the Cricut but on this one I just press print and away we go it prints absolutely no problem Oh no wait, I forgot I have a ship printer. So then I had to press the resume button between four to 25 times. Finally, I get this nice printed sheet of paper. Pop it on the old silhouette mat and Bob's your uncle, Babby's your aunt, you're ready to cut your stickers out. And then this little doodad here is a uh, clicking to make sure the uh, blade is the right depth I guess sometimes it doesn't do that which is kind of annoying still haven't figured out why it doesn't do that but sometimes it doesn't and I have to like send it through again but this day it was working perfectly and then your stickers are done you turn it upside down Martin told me how to do that so it doesn't uh, bend or curl the paper amazing and then you got your stickers all done open your Etsy shop and you're gonna get rich Uh, Monday it's Monday Monday evening light is going away I kind of miss the long nights of summer but I don't miss the weather but I do miss the long nights because it is nice having like light until nine but hey everything has a season and this too shall pass I can't remember where their quotes from but I like it I'm a bit flustered because I was just thinking about stuff I want to do tonight I just uploaded my my vlog to YouTube and then I did like a little upload to Instagram I was gonna try and design something and I did try for a good eight minutes on procreate but I just nothing was coming to me the creative muse just did not visit me in that scenario so I just did like a little upload of my thumbnail just so people know that I've got my YouTube video up 
and then I remembered that I forgot to link like every single person that I spoke about so I had to quickly do that. Now it's 20 to 7, as soon as 7 o'clock hits Martin's going to finish his guitar lesson so I have to go make dinner and then he really wants to go food shopping tonight, well I don't think he really wants to, who wants to go food shopping? But we have to because we have no food left in the house. I think I mentioned this in my last vlog, I mentioned this at the weekend, we had no food and I was meant to go to Sainsbury's and get some but I ended up just buying like crisps and um, veggie meatballs. Anyway my point is I've got stuff I want to do tonight and I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I really want to do a draw this in your style because I want to post it tomorrow. I'm not sure if you guys watched my last vlog last week but I spoke about how I have like an Instagram plan, an Insta plan you could call it don't know because that sounds silly but it's a plan to like post something every day i don't want to fall behind on day three so i really wanted to do a draw this in your style and i'm just gonna quickly aubrey joe aubrey joy aubrey joy i'm not quite sure how you pronounce her name but she has this most adorable cat i've seen quite a few people do it and i really want to do it so i think i'm gonna try and do it tonight and then post it tomorrow but the problem is Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. It was just the hello, just talking a bit. Uh, talking, you know? I made three sticker sheets this morning, but I've only got two more sticker sheets to go, and then all my stickers are done. And then I just need to focus on taking photos, editing the photos, and making listings for Etsy. And Bob's your uncle, Babby's your aunt. We got ourselves an update. So I'm going to try and do a little bit of drawing before uh, Martin gets out the lounge, and I will see you on the next video. No, I won't. I'll see you later. <laughs>
But the good news is, I found a fun new button on my uh, keyboard that just turns my computer off. So all my stickers are done now. I've just turned everything off. I've got to swap my computers around because I'm about to start work. And then after work, I think we have to go food shopping because we didn't go yesterday. We were lazy. It's lunchtime. I forgot that I had to uh, make a couple of pins because I got an order last night for a couple of pins, which is very exciting because I don't get many orders for pins. I don't know if they're just not popular or maybe they're a bit expensive. I'm not sure. But someone ordered two food pins. I just have to have a look what they were. So we got a little sushi veggie pizza. So I do an option of magnets or pins. So today we're going to go with the pins. Do a little bit of cleaning up on the back. And then I just use old faithful super glue. And I haven't had any complaints that these have fallen off yet, so I'll keep using this um, for now. I think I think they're pretty solid. So I just hold it on for a little bit until it kind of sets and then leave it overnight. So I have an extra day for delivery on these just so I can have them make sure they're all done so it does have a little bit of extra super glue on the back but they are handmade I probably put way too much on than I need to but I'm just always a little bit paranoid that it's not gonna stick so I just leave it aside and then what I have for the back in cards is are these which are already hand they're already painted so I just like pick a color that I think will go well with it like you know I'll do that tomorrow when it's dry and then package them and send them so that's all i needed to do at lunchtime and now i gotta get back to work because i'm very busy at work today hopefully i'll see you a bit later it's about six o'clock i have to do a little bit of extra work tonight and i'm probably gonna have to get up and do extra work tomorrow because we have a, a deadline and uh i had to change some things from client feedback so Gonna be working on that this week, probably a little bit later in the evenings or in the morning. So I'm gonna have a bit less time this week. And I was wanting to make a video on Thursday. I was gonna do my thoughts on the silhouette versus the cricket, which I think would be an interesting video. But maybe it's good that I can't do it this week because it gives me an extra week to play with Gertie and find out some more positives and maybe some negatives, I don't know. I haven't made a list yet. So what I'm gonna do now is I've got these Polaroid prints. Um, am I in focus? I am. If you remember seeing these uh, from a few weeks ago, I have like these Polaroid prints. There's six in a pack and they're kind of like this size and there's different varieties, uh, fruits, vegetables. They're from my 100 day project and I want to make like a package for them. So instead of just popping them into a bag, I want to kind of do something like a little bit fun. So I'm going to come up with a few different ideas now, just like messing around with paper because I just don't want to be in the office right now because it's really hot in there and I just want to get away from the computer for a bit. There's a few different options. I'll show you this one here because it was already in it. This was actually an idea Martin had. And it's to kind of put it in. Obviously it'll be nicer than this. I have to measure it and stuff so it all lines up, but whoops whoops okay we'll just use your imagination it's gonna be like this and if anything I don't like about this idea is I could damage the I could actually damage the things before I do it so how are you meant to do this because I think you meant to like bend it aren't you like this like that see and the only thing I don't like about this is I think this should be colored paper uh, I just don't think it looks very good with I'll have my, my face here, maybe. Hi, I'm April. <laughs> Perfect representation of myself. So let's just say, for example, this was good, like this is a good design that we're happy with, and it's looking really good, nice on Photoshop and stuff. Done like a little, whatever, you know, design. This would be like what it is, and then it would just literally pop in here. So let's see if it pops in there. Yeah, that's kind of fun. What do you reckon? I'm gonna go show Martin, get his feedback. He always gives me good uh, criticism. So there's a couple of problems with this design. 
so number one is this is bigger than a5 which i guess actually would be a problem because i would have to fold this anyway so that actually isn't too much of a problem because that means i can make the entire page smaller if even if i have to fold it another thing is it's kind of boring like it's just white and it doesn't have a proper design on it right now but i think really the only way it would work is with colored paper but then i wouldn't be able to print anything nicely on it like i wouldn't be able to have my logo on it or anything and then matt was saying maybe I'd have it on colored paper and then have like this bit here as my sticker and then make another sticker and stick it on but i think that might just look a bit cheap this is very exciting isn't it designing live not really it's not really that exciting actually it's probably really boring okay so another idea i had was just to put it in the plastic like this so again imagine a good design then the only problem is that like i don't have a smaller one than the a5 apart from the ones i use my stickers for but they're really small so i would have to have a massive packaging like this which i would kind of like to avoid and this isn't gonna work see because look look how much plastic i have left i mean it looks nice maybe i can find if i find a smaller bag and like it does look nice like that it looks like obviously if this was a nice design it would look kind of what you would see in a shop what if i use tissue paper which doesn't have the same like nice feel like it, it's not like, completely opaque but you can still see a little bit through Let's just pretend this is packaged nicely. You can see that I use quite a lot of pretend in my normal day day to day life. <laughs> okay, so you can kind of see it through it. I mean, it's not perfect. It's not as nice as it was when it was nice and clear and shiny, but it's eco friendly. I could maybe put my, like if I did this nice, I could put my sticker at the back just to kind of bring in the brand in. And if I made this really dark, like this is just pencil right now, if I made that really dark, like a dark like a really bold color it would stand out against the tissue paper hmm let's see what martin thinks of this one martin said he liked it but he also had another idea which sounds quite cool and that's if i was to take this triangle and i made this into a fun sticker like a triangle sticker and i just very carefully place it here and it would be probably a matte sticker and that way you could it would still be nice and well kind of protected <laughs> not super protected because let's be honest it's just tissue paper so that's one idea another idea i had is i can have it in tissue paper like this and that would go around like this and obviously it would match at the back with a little sticker i mean i know it's really hard to see because it's like just covered in with pencil quickly but i don't know i think i like this triangle better actually it's pretty cool all right, anyway, I've got to go because the oven's beeping, but I will pop back later after I've done some actual proper designs and we'll have a better look. It's Tuesday night, I think, and my, my desk in the bedroom, it's a bit of a mess. Um, I had a problem, I, didn't, I wasn't going to share it with you guys, but I thought honesty is the best policy. I thought it might be interesting just to see some mistakes. <laughs> That's always fun, isn't it? I'm making these little pins, the ones that I showed you the other day. I just packaged this one up here. Uh, this is going to Sandra. I don't know if you watched the videos, but this is all packaged, ready to go. And I had the pizza one here, but there was a little bit of a problem with the pizza. Pizza was sitting on the windowsill alongside the other one. And when I went to pick it up, um, it was kind of stuck to the windowsill. And as you can see, it's left a little bit of... I don't know how I'm going to get that off, but it's a little bit of, like, pin there. I haven't had this happen before. I remember how I was saying I put too much super glue on. Well, it came back to bite me in the butt. It looks like I put way too much on. It rolled off the side because this is, like, a little bit curved. Went over the edge and stuck to the windowsill. So, I basically ruined this pin. I was really... I was really... I mean, you can imagine ruining something that someone's already bought and they're looking forward to get... I was really disappointed and sad and a bit scared to be honest thankfully i have another pizza slice this one here looks a little bit different but basically the same so yeah i had a chat with um sandra on etsy and i just told her the deal and i asked if she wanted a replacement or a refund and she was happy for the other pizza so i told her i popped it in the oven <laughs> pizza joke 
and I will send it tomorrow. So I've been keeping an eye on this one. I didn't put as much super glue on and it looks fine. So that's good. And I don't know why, but I always find it super awkward to send just one sticker. It's not like you can really do a package with it, but you still want it to look nice. I have been putting these in, which is kind of like a sneak peek. But um, this lady's already had one. So I thought today I'll just give her a little, um, what are these? Radish, a little radish sticker. And then just pop it in the, the tissue paper. I know it's, it's, this does seem silly to me. I'd be really um, interested to know if you guys have Etsy shops, what you do if you just have one sticker. Like if someone just wants one thing and you can't really package it, like what do you do? Because I find it really awkward. I don't know, it's not awkward. But I just find it very strange to like just put a little sticker in some tissue paper. And then I normally just pop the, like if the sticker is smaller than the note, I just pop it on the top of the note. And done! It's the next day now, Wednesday. Wait, no, Thursday. Look, I've got this gigantic pile of paper that I found in my drawers while I was looking for something. And it's been on my desk for about a week now. I just keep picking it up and moving it to the bed and then moving it back again. I really should sort it out. Okay, we've got a little pizza friend here, which is glued on overnight, very secure. And all the paint's still intact, so I call that a success. I'm trying to pack this before lunch is ready. We just popped something in the oven to have a bit of a change from sandwiches today. And I've got about nine minutes, so I'm gonna get this ready and then I've gotta have lunch and I gotta get back to work. We are so busy at work this week. I was working at 7 a.m. this morning, 7 a.m. yesterday. And then yesterday after dinner, I worked from about 8.30 about 11.30 which isn't normal I really want to get bags that fit these pins better uh, it's not normal really have to do that but we just have a big deadline this week and we've had the client come back and make a lot of changes last minute changes so it's not just me working late everyone on our team is working late this week but hopefully I handed all the videos in today um, if you guys don't know if you're Nuki, I, I'm a motion graphic designer, so I basically make videos and animate, edit, things like that. So, I spend a lot of time on the computer editing stuff and animating little bits. This is when you have want to have a nice healthy day, and this is at the weekend when you want to treat yourself. Although, I wouldn't suggest eating either of these, because I'm pretty sure the gloss isn't safe to consume. I put these in for the last few orders over the last couple of weeks and I think it's really nice because they're quite good quality like these are printed out of high quality and they're printed on paper that the print is so it's actually a really good paper and it's uh, just a smaller size than the regular one because I just like fit them in at the bottom so I forgot what I was saying I really wanted to get a video out this Thursday I don't know if I mentioned that yet but I'm obviously not going to have any time so I'm going to be working tonight as well and probably tomorrow morning um I have been able to keep up with my Instagram posting, which is good. I've just been doing a little bit in between. But tomorrow, I actually want to make a freebie sticker for my next update. I keep saying next update, but actually it's my uh, my first update. Because the last time I, I did anything for Etsy was when I opened it. So normally I don't use this string. I don't know, is it string or twine? Because uh, putting it on makes the package more bulky, which means the postage goes up. But because this is going into a box, I can do it. And I really love doing this. I think it, putting like a little bit of, I don't know, it's just something silly, like a little bit of string, but, oh, I've done that wrong. I don't normally do confetti, but I just, just feels kind of boring when it's um, in the box just with white tissue paper. I do want to get some more colourful tissue paper soon. I'm thinking like green or yellow. Like, teal. Is this going to work? Yeah. That looks cool. 
Oh, it's a brand new sellotape. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, I just banged my knee. I knocked over all my pencils. Yeah, I just banged my knee by accident and knocked everything over. It's okay. I got it on film, so at least that'll be funny. That's why I do these things. Yeah, that's what they were. You can really struggle more than me. Hi, it's Saturday lunchtime and I don't think I filmed since last Thursday. So hi, I didn't really do much, I was just working. Uh, had some busy days this week. I think I mentioned we had a project due on Wednesday, I think. I got another project on Wednesday, which was due on Friday. But because I was working so much on the other one, I kind of like got behind on this one. And then we had some more client changes, like script things. So in the end, I ended up working late every night and also this morning. So, so like I mentioned, it's not really normal. We don't really do much of that in my job. Like sometimes we have to work over, you know, a little bit of overtime to get something done. But I'm really tired. I haven't done any drawing and I feel like all my shoulders are sore just from being on the computer. So I'm going to draw for a little bit. I'm waiting to hear back from Liz because I think we're going to have an art chat this afternoon. So that'd be nice because I haven't spoken to her for like weeks because she's been moving but I think I'm just gonna do some doodles to warm up in my sketchbook and then this afternoon I'm gonna try and make my freebie sticker because I didn't get time to yesterday so I still don't know what I'm gonna do for my freebie sticker I'm just gonna probably go through my sketchbook and pick something and turn that into like a digital sketch because I think that'll be nice uh, rather than like racking my brain to come up with an idea which I don't really find works for me so that's what we're gonna do. So I don't know, maybe I'll look through my old sketchbooks and see if I find anything, but I think I have another fox actually somewhere that I really like. Let's see if I can find it. This one's almost finished. I'm ready to almost do a tour on this one. I don't know if it's how exciting the tour would be. Okay, this, um, let's have a look. I don't know. I don't know what sketchbook I'm thinking of that has the fox in it. Oh, well, I'm just going to do some doodles for now anyway. It's almost six now. We just got back from that walk. We just got back from a walk in the woods. We went somewhere new and we got a little bit lost. It was a bit of a, a bit of an adventure. And I before that before then I painted this drew this little foxy for my freebie sticker and I found it. This is the one I was talking about. I found it in this sketchbook here. So this was when I, I was drawing again other things that people were like suggesting. And I drew this little fox. I thought it would be really cute. It doesn't really have a reason to be in this update. But I think it's fine. Because I think it's super cute. And I think people will like it. So that's what I did. And I also have one more thing to show you guys. It is the Kickstarter from Jamila Knop. Jamila. De, de Jamila. De Jamila Knop. Knop. From, from this lovely artist. And I completely forgot I had got it. I got it on the Kickstarter months ago. Where's the my scissors? Okay, so this is the book and it came with a whole bunch of freebies, it looks like. I love this postcard. This postcard is, I think, the illustration that she made to advertise her schoolism class, which I really want to take. I have a meaning to take it, but I think it's one of those things where you need a lot of free time to put a lot of effort into it. And then this is the book, so it comes in this nice fancy book cover case it's so big that's what she said so basically it's just like an art of book i don't really know much about it i just knew i wanted to get it so i just did the kickstarter for it and it just has a lot of beautiful illustrations and it probably goes through some of her processes and her workflow and her sketches and things so i am very excited to read this Look at how beautiful, like, look at these pictures. It's just gorgeous. 
so I'm really excited that I got that book I'm really happy with it I love books aren't they lovely so that was a nice little surprise today and now I think I'm gonna bake banana bread while dinner's cooking It's Sunday night, it's about 10 o'clock, so I'm probably going to finish the vlog soon, but before I do, I just wanted to show you my cats. So for the autumn week, which starts tomorrow, I thought I would do a little cat character. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I thought I would do a little cat character, and he's going to be a little bit snooty. It's based on the Draw This In Your Style that I did the other day, because I really like that cat, but... I just kind of wanted to like redesign it a little bit so I did all these faces to start with some of them look a little bit like foxes and then I took those faces and I put them into kind of like cat characters so I thought about going just like a proper cat you know like not a humanoid cat and then I tried to put like a coat on or a shawl or a little fluffy hat but I was thinking it's autumn and I went for a walk today and it was so bloody it was bloody hot I'm telling you so even though it's autumn week it's not like cold autumn it's not November it's you know September I really like this one um with the little scarf on and just a jumper so I thought I would take that one a little bit further so he's got like a scarf and a little zip up jacket thingy and I wrote down all the prompts here to kind of get some ideas and then I started looking at prompts so I just wanted to get a couple of sketches done for the next couple of days just in case I'm busy doing my vlog or if I get busy at work. So the first one is Apple Orchard and I went through all the ideas, you know, he can be climbing on a ladder, he can be in the bucket of apples and then I thought I could make him like Grumpy Cat and so he's a little bit grumpy, a little bit posh and very snooty and I want to call him uh, a snooty, uh, like a snooty name so I looked up on Google and I really liked Digby, I basically just googled snooty names <laughs> and... Digby I thought was really cute so I had a bit of trouble drawing him sitting down I'm not very good at drawing like bodies human animal you know whatever I'm not very good at drawing bodies so I do want to practice doing that but I kind of like tried to draw him sitting down and I thought it'd be really funny if every prompt it has like a little thing that goes with it like a little tagline so I thought this one could be apple orchard and then it could say I thought he could be sitting uh, by a nice barrel of apples, all the apples around him, lovely autumn colours, and then he's like eating a banana. And it says, uh, Digby prefers bananas. I just, I don't know. I could have chose a different fruit, but I quite like the idea of Digby eating bananas. And then this one I really love. It's, uh, the next prompt is fallen leaves. So <laughs> I put him in like overalls and... I kind of tried to draw the things that you wear on your ears to protect yourself. I forgot the name of them. Ear protectors. And he's like going to be blowing a whole bunch of leaves and all going to be like flying around him. And it's going to say, uh, Digby detests fallen leaves. So I thought for each one I could try and kind of find a funny thing about it to do. So yeah, I'm looking forward to starting that tomorrow. But right now I need to sign off on this vlog and, uh, get ready for bed. It's Monday now and I'm just gonna sign off from the vlog so I thought I would say hi quickly before I say goodbye. Uh, it's a bit of a short one this week. I was pretty busy. Like I didn't get quite a bit finished that I wanted to. I didn't get the Polaroid packaging finished. I'm gonna try and do that this week. So if you have any preferences or any other ideas of how I could do that, that would be super cool because I still don't quite know what I'm gonna do for it. And that's about it I think. So this week I should be a little bit less busy because I have Friday 
Monday and Tuesday off so I have five days in a row at the end of the week off which I'm very excited about. I'm going to try my very hardest to get all my Etsy stuff done. I've got a few bits left to do, quite a bit of printing and stuff but hopefully we can get there and get the update out on Monday next week. No promises but that is my plan so make sure that you um, are keeping up to date i'm gonna do instagram stories if i'm gonna be open it or not and obviously i will announce it on my vlog next week so check back for that one and i will catch you on the next video thanks for watching bye